start off, um, we're going to fill up the whole space of our page. And we are going to start off with just some basic shapes. We're going to start off with kind of a circle shape for the head. Not a perfect circle, and I know I'm drawing lightly, which is how you should be drawing. I'm going to actually make mine darker in just a minute once I get my line figured out. So I'm going to draw a circle shape kind of like this. Okay, a shape about like that. And I need another ear shape on this side. So I've got two big ear shapes. And then from about this space right here, we are going to draw a line kind of curving a little bit downward. And we are going to draw another line from over here coming downward. Okay. We are going to draw another section like that. We're going to draw another section just behind, like this. Okay, so we've got basically our koala shape. Okay, right about here is where we're going to add the nose. So the nose is kind of like that. like this. Okay. So now we're going to start adding this shading because right now he doesn't really look a whole lot like a koala yet. So right in this section we're going to draw two little nostril places and then we're going to shade in this lower section of the nose pretty dark. This is actually going to be the darkest area of our whole drawing. Okay. We're also going to shade this little curve right here with the same level of darkness. And then we're going to shade this in a dark gray color. Not quite as dark as that other section, but pretty dark. Okay, so there's our nose. For the eyes, I want to leave a little sparkle. So I'm going to draw just a little spot that I'm going to leave white. And then I'm going to shade the rest of the eye in dark. And then there's a light area of fur that's right around here. It's a little bit lighter. We're going to shade just a dark shadow on each side of this jaw. And then uh, we're going to shade overall just a light gray value. Okay. We're going to go back and darken in a few areas here in a moment, but we're just going to get an overall light gray value that leaves this part alone, okay?
You want to, you can kind of smudge your shading with your fingers, make it a little more smooth. I tend to just kind of do some scribbly lines just real quickly. With these drawings, I draw a lot faster than I would if I were working really carefully on a drawing on my own. So it's okay if you want to work really carefully though. Okay. We're also going to add um, this area right here. Um, that line is just kind of a guideline. So I'm going to start sketching in the fur for the ears. And um, I'm going to shade in this area right where the ear connects to the head. Just a little bit darker than the other part of my ear. Okay? And so I'm just going to add some little textures. And again, Shade this section pretty dark. Okay, so we've got kind of Okay, um, then we're going to shade in this section right here. We're going to shade in this part just a little bit wider. Shade in just a little under his chin. And shade in this section. A nice gray value as well. <laughs> I'm going to darken in this area right here. Alright, so I'm just going to give these edges just kind of a fuzzier treatment here. And um, because it's a koala and it's not um, just, you know, just any sort of animal, koalas spend a lot of their time in trees, right? So I'm going to um, go ahead and create some detail around my koala that makes sense with um, the environment that he would typically live in. So, just kind of adjusting things just a little bit. And then I'm going to start drawing in some tree branches. So, so draw in some tree branches here. And then also draw in your leaves. Draw in some texture here in the background. And it doesn't have to be perfectly detailed just as long as you have kind of a suggestion of what's going on. So get some branches in there. So get your koala sketched in the way that you would like him. And when you feel like you're finished with him, then you can go ahead and sign your drawing. And if you'd like to free draw, then you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs>